That sucks that we had to use that much ammunition. Oh no, is this going to be a drop? That's not going to be good. Bullshit! Ah, uh, not good! Welcome back, everybody, to 70 Days Night on Alpha 21.1. I'm an old guy gaming, and we're going to pick up right where we left off in the last episode and continue doing jobs all the way uh, through the end of day 14. Anyway, and then uh, after that, we'll decide, um, uh, well, I guess I'll decide, uh, but I, I do, you know, like input from you guys um, on what to do, to do next. Um, do you guys want me to go to day 21 on this particular series? Do we want to... Um, stop doing it as a dead is dead series and just check out Navis Gain X 21 or 21 X or whatever uh, that part of the map is. Um, or should we end the series and start an, an overhaul? Uh, Undead Legacy, I believe, is available. Uh, War as UK just became available a few days ago. A couple of you mentioned that. Uh, Ravenhurst, I believe, is available for 21. And um, yeah, so just let me know in the comments, um, you know, how what you guys are thinking, and um, we'll go from there. I could even, uh, you know, maybe possibly do a poll uh, to see which overhaul uh, the, mo the most of you would like to, to see me play. I'm kind of, you know, undecided. Uh, I like the thing I like about War as UK is it's it's a little more um, action oriented and not quite so much of a grind. At least it was the last time I played it, which was probably about a, I don't know, two years ago now, maybe. Uh, Ravenhurst is a huge grind. Undead Legacy is a huge grind. Uh, and, and incidentally, if Raven, assuming Ravenhurst is the same as it was the last time I played it, which was Alpha 19 or 20, um, I cannot play that mod on Insane Nightmare Speed. It's just not possible. Uh, I've tried it. <laughs> it does not work because of the quantity of zombies that that mod spawns. So um, if we do Ravenhurst, it will not be uh, on Nightmare Speed. It'll be on Insane Difficulty, but it won't be on Nightmare Speed. Anyway, um, so yeah, just think about that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, but for today, we're going to continue uh, doing what we're doing at least through the end of Horde Night 14 on this series. So with that being said, let's get started. Uh, we're going over here, and it uh, looks like we're doing a clear quest. We are on Tier 3 now, and uh, we're still on Life 3. We had one really close call a few episodes ago, but otherwise, um, you know, haven't had any more really close calls. So we'll see how... How everything goes here. Looks like we need to go around the other way there. The Thornberry Residence. I still haven't um, lined up all of the new names with all of the POIs because it's a situation where we recognize most of the POIs, but we don't recognize the new names. Uh, well, at least for me, anyways, that they've assigned to them. Nice, Arlene. What'd you drop for us? Okay. That's pretty good stuff overall. Um, Yeah, I, I don't even... I haven't even made a shovel. I, I can make an iron shovel when the time comes to do some digging. Uh, before we start this party... Oh, this is going to be like a little strip mall thingy. Uh, let me run around the front and see if there's a mailbox. Because if there is, I'm not sure if... Oh my god, this is place is big. This might take us a little while. All right. Yeah, you know what? I've never actually been in this POI. I've been by it a few times, but I've never been inside. That's cool. Okay. This ought to be fun. Um, That door is locked. How many hit points are on it? Oh, shit. 15,000. No, we're not, <laughs> we're not doing that. No siree, Bob. Do we have... Oh, good. We got some new stands out in front of I already looted them. Uh, looks like I have. Okay, so we'll come back and do all of that stuff. I've probably hit these vehicles too, but let's just double check. Yeah, that's empty. That's empty. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually excited to do this because like I said, I have not, um, I've not done this POI yet, but uh, I've been by it several times uh, in Alpha 21. I don't know if it was in 20 or not, but so it should be a lot of fun. Let's check this vehicle too before we start the, the thingy. Okay, I'll probably just chuck the paintbrush. There's very few things in this game that are easier to make than a paintbrush. 
No point in using an inventory slot until we're ready to use it. There we go. And we'll take all of that stuff, actually. Uh, if if we decide to go beyond day 14, then I, I, I need to get a farm going. Uh, if not, then it's not much point in doing that. All right. We are almost certainly going to need a drop chest, too. Nice. But uh, let's start this first. So the drop chest doesn't disappear. And even so, uh, I'm still going to set it out a little ways. Where's the border? Ooh, right there. Okay. Let's come back in just a little bit. Secure storage chest. Okay. And I'm just going to put a, a quick waypoint there for now. Um, let's just scrap that. We, yeah, we don't need the coffee. <clears throat> okay. Let's go back around front, check those news stands, and see if we can crack open that ATM machine. Uh, well, yeah, we might as well check the all of these vehicles, too. See what we get. Okay, clubs, and... Yeah, I'm probably just going to throw that stuff out. <laughs> or at least the chrysanthemum seed. Uh, yeah, we'll take all of that. This toolbox is lootable with some nails. That's we'll just scrap those probably. Uh, we'll check this again. Was that car there before? I don't know. Let's see if it's uh, within the border so we can loot it. I'm sure glad. I'm you know so glad that they have that now. A little border. Okay, yeah, definitely take potato seed. Potato seed and corn seed, very important. Let's go back around front, hit the newsstands, and then we'll get started in earnest here. Okay, rifles. Pipe rifle quality three and... That we will sell. How many lockpicks do I have? I have seven. I can make lockpicks now, too. I just only had enough resources to make seven. Let's see if we can open this thing up. There we go. All right, 520 cash. That doesn't suck. All right, let's do this. see two red dots don't see anybody in this room unless they're in a hidden closet or something there might be somebody over there but probably not based upon where the red dots are. Okay, there's our first victim. Well, so much for being quiet. Um, you know what? Since there's just two of them, what we'll do is just kite them. dead? You're dead. Okay. I think. Is he? Yeah. Oh, Arlene lost her head over that deal. We got tagged once, but we're fine. We got quite a 
Quite a good set of armor on that. Well, for scrap armor anyway. Okay, that takes care of the Zeeks in this first area. Uh, let's grab the water out of here. And doesn't look like there's anything else in here. That vending machine doesn't work. We could if we wanted to take it apart. Nothing else in here to do. There's some couches we could do for leather at some point if we wanted to. Probably nothing behind any of those guys. Got a nice little lounge back here. This is a pretty fancy schmancy truck stop, man. Um, I, I seriously doubt we'll get to the point where we're going to do anything with that, so I'm just going to sell those. Check behind all of those for safes. More leather we could come uh, and get if we needed to. Uh, we'll take the springs. Okay. We're getting into new territory here, so... A doorway to help block anybody coming that way. Okay, I think I'm just going to scrap all of this stuff. They don't sell for anything to speak of. Wow, look at all the zombie closets in this hallway. <laughs> um... Let's put that down. Um, but before I... Yeah, let's get those out of the way. I'm going to lift that back up for a second. Oh, I guess I need iron to repair that fully, but it's okay. Shit. Came too fast. I know I could block these doors. Probably should. Well, I can block that one. Okay. This other one... Oh, I guess I just couldn't do it because they were in the way there. Okay. So, what we'll do is we'll leave the one on the left in place. And that way we, you know, we can just block this one if we have to. Okay, back into here. So, I'm going to say we probably didn't, um, you know, fully get everybody out of this room. Just the first couple of places. That door's locked. Kind of dangerous coming in here because I could be could get trapped because I can't close that door. Guess I could break it and put a block down, but let's just keep trying here without to without going to that extent. Uh, can't put it there. Okay, so that takes care of this room. This is, well, both of these closets are locked.
Okay. There's the toilet in there. Can this door close? Yes, it can. Okay. Um. All right. Let's uh let's break this door open. Nobody in there. Okay. Let's do this one next. Grab our arrow back. Oh, that's the way we came in. Okay, that door's locked as well. So we got to go through this room here. Uh, let's get this corpse out of the way just because it kind of slows us down. Okay. So this is the way we go. Ah, oh, shit. Just one Zakaru. Zeker Zakaru. Oh, it's a him though. He's a scary mofo. We're not messing with him. Give me some blades. Ouch. Yeah, let's not get too close here. We've got pretty good range on our baseball bat. We'll give him some dental work here. Oh, you're going to do that, are you? Okay, well then take this. Nice. It takes so damn long <laughs> to load this shotgun. It's like, feels like it's taking an eternity to load it when you're under pressure there, you know? It's funny. Okay, so that's the way we go. Any of, uh, nope, I guess we don't have any, uh, medicine cabinets. Let's get this guy ready. Uh, okay, yeah, we're gonna go through that door there. Can we get any freebie shots off on anybody? Wow, look at all the loot in here. Nice. Uh, I don't see any enemies in sight. They do a pretty good job of hiding the zombos. So, it makes it challenging to get freebies sometimes. Gonna go upstairs. Interesting. Okay, let's check this tool cabinet here. Scrap a couple of things to save space. <clears throat> Why don't we take something to eat too? And we'll take a red tea. There we go. Okay. Out onto the roof. What could possibly go wrong out on the roof? Can we close this door? Uh, where are they at? Okay, we got you. Oh, all right. Well, uh, let's let's use our pistol. Okay, we're gonna take that point and we're gonna put it right on into Gunslinger, since we have the pistol now. It gives ten percent more damage and all the other good stuff that goes along with it. Oh shit! What? Where's he at? Oh, there's two of them. Okay. 
Hmm, that's weird. I don't know where the hell they came from. Uh, I guess they were up up above there. Okay, let's go around this way. Is this a... No, it's just a painted on thingy. We'll use this for buzzards because they're a little easier to kill. That's where one zombie was. Okay, let's go actually back into here for a second and see if there's something. Yeah, look at that. Very nice. We will take both of those things. Okay. Up we go. So we've already got the attention of two buzzards. That doesn't mean there aren't any more up here, though. Not that guy. Is this uh yep, that's a thing. There's nothing in it though. Little trash box. I'm not hanging on to that stuff for now. Alright, let's uh let's look for buzzards. I'm going to say whatever the red dot is, it's probably inside that HVAC housing, maybe. Um, or or on the other side of it where we can't see it. That's where we go. Let's uh, deal with whatever's over here first. Irradiated? Oh shit. Wow, that took a lot of ammo to kill that guy. Damn. Hope we don't run into any more of those. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of cool. Check this out. Oh. Where's that coming from? Okay. Little hidden room. Ah, give me some 762s, please. Oh, okay, we'll take that too. There's a thing in here. Okay. Let's keep this ready. Sucks that we had to use that much ammunition. Oh no, is this gonna be a drop? Oh shit. That's not gonna be good. Bullshit! Uh not good. Not good, not good, not good. Oh shit! Uh that door's locked. Okay, let's get up here. Oh man, that got the blood pressure going. <laughs> Crap. I thought it was going to be the, um, I thought it was going to be the, the vent that would go through, but the floor in front of the vent is what gave out. That is just mean fun pimps. <laughs> it's absolutely cruel. Uh, okay. Um, 
I don't want to be trapped in here. So what is the easiest way to get outside if it comes down to it? There's someone outside already. Um, how strong is this door? How strong is that? It's the same thing. It's the 3,000 hit point glass. Is there a, a switch to open this? Well, all right. You know what, though? If hopping up on the, the shelf actually worked quite well. So, if we, what's this? And that's only 1,200 hit points. Actually, yeah, let's pop a hole here, and then we can deal with whoever's outside causing trouble. Oh, what am I doing? Come over here, dummies. Over here. Boys and girls, you're not playing fair. Okay. Damn it, Jim. They want to go in there now. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and loot this room. Okay, I think we got this room uh, fully looted here. So let's uh, let's pop a hole through here and go unload before we proceed here. Lots of loot in this place. Okay, that takes care of him. Uh, I'm not worried about him. He's not going to be breaking through that anytime soon. Let's go this way. Make sure everybody's loaded here. Okay. There's a, a red dot right there. Right above my head. Okay. Goes into there. Um, okay. More stuff to loot. Let's get through it as quickly as possible here. 
Okay, I think that's all I'm interested in in this room. Okay, we just got somebody's attention. Janitor Jim. Coffee seed. Looks like that might be the end loot, so there's probably a shit ton of Zeke's in this room. Those could be Zombo closets right there. Nobody in there. Good. Oh, what about there, though? That's probably just a door that opens up into the larger room. Bandages, please. Nice. And we got um, a steroid, too, which we can use once it becomes morning, because we have no encumbrance at night, but it'll go back to normal in the morning. Now, I guess we can't um, stack more than five of those. Okay. Let's try this food crate here first before we go out into the main room. Chicken ration. Okay, cool. We'll hang on to that. Uh, any sniping opportunities? Uh, is that a zombie? Nope, that's the, ch that's the loot chest. Well, you know they're going to come out of the ceiling then. It's inevitable. So we'll probably just retreat to this room and put down the usual. All right, come on, Zombos. Come on out. Oh, shit. Got four of them. One of them is a feral. Don't get so close, OG. One more to go. I've rearranged the weapons on my toolbar, so... I'm not quite used to the new arrangement yet. This other one's probably just caught on the counter. Are you a normal? Yeah, you're just a normal. Okay. I don't want to waste seven six twos. But if it was a feral, I would have. But... <laughs> nice duck. He ducked just in the nick of time. All right, we got it. Whew. Yeah, this place was pretty crazy, man, for a tier three. It was fun, though. All right, let's check out the loot. A little bit of dog food there. Seven, six, twos. Well, we'll take nines also. Nice. Tier 2 plaster cast. That's good. Uh, that's going to open a door, so let's not do that quite yet. Since we have company outside. Assault rifle. We can now make uh, a quality 3 AK. All right, we might do that if we have uh, all the resources. It'll be just a little bit better. Handy land. Handy land. 
Well, look at that. How does that compare? It's actually better. Okay, well, this will become our our backup weapon for the moment then. Um, and I have, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a couple repair kits, so let's just go ahead and repair it right now. This will probably scrap. I'm thinking. You know, I can actually make uh, steel arrows. I should be doing that instead of using all these iron ones. To try and remember to do that. Okay, I think that's it except for the main chest. I did get um, a couple of lockpicks, but I wanted to hang on to them for this chest before trying that ATM machine again. So let's just see if we can get lucky here. Very nice. Okay, that will sell. Uh, I think we already have one of those for our rifle. More bandages, that's very welcome. And some 7.62s. Okay, cool. Very good. Uh, did I ro load this? Nope, I didn't. Okay. That opens up that door. Uh, oh, and it opened up this too. There you go, Steve. I'm getting my timing right here. Excellent. Okay. Let's try our luck uh, with this ATM machine. Nope. Uh, uh, it's, I, I mean, I could break that, but... What is it? 5,000 hit points? Yeah, what the hell, let's do it. I have no place to go. Can't go to the treasure till 6 a.m., so might as well break it. $929, make you holla. That was worth it. All right, guys, I'm going to uh, get uh, all my stuff situated, get back to the base. And I will meet you at the trader at 6 a.m. for our turning. Take your time. Now we're cooking with gas. I think we're going to take the green level pistol. It is definitely better than the one we have. Nice. Uh, these would have been nice too, but yeah, we'll take the green pistol. Okay. Um, uh, let's take the next job from you, which is a... In, nah, we're not going to do it infested. Clear. Yeah, we'll do this clear here. Shadowy Woods Amphitheater. That sounds interesting. Or Shady Woods, rather. Okay. And then we will sell all of this stuff to you. Nice little pile of cash there. That gets our coin up to 14,663. And we got another skill point. Very good. And I think we've already checked your inventory, haven't we? There's a nice iron crossbow, um, but I think we'll we'll just stick with the the green bow for now. How much more damage does this do? It does 5.4 more damage, less projectile velocity though, which is interesting. You'd think the crossbow would have more, or no, no, sorry, yeah, my bow has less. Yeah, this crossbow is better in every way, man. Um, we could certainly afford it. I I think we'll do it. Let's do it. There we go. It's a done deal. Um Thanks for shopping here. So Come again. we could get a little bit a, a very small percentage of our coin back if we sold this. There's no point in keeping a backup weapon because if we die, you know, it's game over. Um what We can put all of that stuff on there. Nice. Okay. I know I didn't actually do that comparison with equivalent arrows, so it does. I, I'm I'm pretty sure the crossbow is still going to be better anyway, but we could go back to the base and and do that. 
because I, I know that's something I frequently forget to do when I'm doing the comparison with the bow in particular. So let's do that real quick before we wrap up the episode here. But I'd be very surprised if the crossbow is still not better in pretty much every way. Um, okay, so yeah, let's grab uh, iron crossbow bolts. Let's just take the mods off, too, so we don't have to worry about that. We'll put iron bolts in this. We'll put iron arrows in this. And then, yeah, look at that. So, so with equivalent arrows, iron-grade arrows, the crossbow is still 16.4 points more damage, 18 points more velocity, um, and three meters more range. It's just superior in every, every single way. Uh, so yeah, that was a, that was a good buy. I'm pretty confident and comfortable that we did the right thing with that. If we, um, and, and actually, yeah, see that's at 72. Then if we put these mods on here, it bring, uh, oh, wrong thing. Sorry. Uh, it brings it up to 90. Yeah, this sucker's going to pack a punch, man. I love it. Uh, plus, we can make steel crossbow bolts for it, too. Um, I'm pretty sure I can do that. Let's just check. Uh, bolt. Steel crossbow bolt. Yep, we can make them. Uh, so I will be doing that as well. Cool. All right, guys. Well, we're going to wrap up this episode here. Uh, we'll pick up right where we left off the next episode. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is go make sure the horde base is ready for day 14. I think I already did repair it, but I'm going to double check it. But I plan on using the same setup as we did before uh, in the church there. And then uh, we'll go do this next job during the day. And then Horde Night uh, will, of course, start tonight at uh, 10 p.m. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Goodbye.